Hi everyone, my name is Neetu Yadav. Welcome to Vakil Search video series on FEMA and RBI related compliances. In my last video, I spoke about foreign investment, different kind of foreign investment, what includes in the equity instrument, who can make the investment, all that. My today's video will be in continuation of the same and the topic will be sectors and sectoral cap. FTI regulations generally provide sector specific conditions uh, like entry routes, the caps, the list of uh, activities in which uh, the investment is permitted or prohibited. So let's understand the meaning of sectors and sectoral cap. Sectors uh, in a layman language I would say is the industry in which the Indian entity is running its business. Sectoral cap means the maximum prescribed limit of foreign investment. It includes both direct investment as well as indirect investment. Now let's understand um, how the foreign investment is can come in India. So generally the foreign investment come um, in, in two sectors. One is prohibited sector and one is uh, permitted sector. Prohibited sector with the name itself you can guess is, is the activities uh, in which the investment is not allowed. It is not permitted by the government of India. Whereas permitted sectors are those where the investment is permitted but subject to certain uh, condition, obviously. Those are like you have to check the entry routes via which the investment can come. The entry routes um, can be automatic entry route and uh, the approval route, also known as the government route. Approval route is something where the prior approval of government is required, whereas the automatic route is something where the prior approval of government is not required. So once the investment comes, post facto intimation is to be done. There is also uh, called mixed sector where up to a certain level, um, uh, you know, the investment can come uh, via uh, automatic route. But if you are crossing that limit, then uh, you have to take government approval. So generally in India, the FDI is 100% uh, uh, allowed except few activities in which it is not permitted yet. Uh, Let's just understand with few examples of uh, permitted sector as well as uh, um, prohibited sectors. The few examples of permitted sectors are uh, like uh, the agriculture sector in which the FDI is allowed 100% uh, that too via automatic route. Um, plantation of coffee and tea is also 100% allowed. 100% FDI is allowed that too via automatic route. Um, Banking private sector, 74% uh, of FDI is allowed. Um, in that too also up to uh, like 49% um, automatic route uh, you have to follow. Whereas if you're going beyond 49%, then definitely you have to go via approval route. You have to take government approval. Let's take few examples of uh, prohibited sectors now. So um, the, the entities the Indian entities who are running their business in the following activities, which I'm going to tell you right now, are not permitted yet. Those are uh, the prohibited sectors in which the investment, the foreign investment cannot come. Those are like uh, uh, gambling, betting, or manufacturing of uh, cigars, cigarettes, uh, Didi Kamni, Chit Fund, and all that, right? These sectors in which the FDI is not permitted yet. Um, so uh, just to make you more understand, I have also uh, one case study with which you will able to understand better. So let me just read the case study for you. Um, ABC LLC wants to enter in the Indian economy in the agriculture sector to grow wheat. So after studying the state-wise agriculture output, they decided to do business in uh, uh, Uttar Pradesh. Whether FDI is allowed in that case? If yes how much FDI is allowed and via which route. So as we have discussed prior also that FDI in agriculture sector is 100% allowed and it is allowed via automatic route. So yes, they can bring um, uh, foreign investment in India in agriculture sector. Now during the entire video, I was talking about the percentage of uh, FDI. So what is this percentage of FDI? So here the percentage of FDI means the percentage of uh, paid up equity capital of the Indian entity in which the foreign investment is coming. 
with this i would like to conclude my video i hope you like it if you like the video please click on the like button uh comment below and subscribe our channel you can also uh follow us on instagram facebook uh twitter and linkedin thank you so much for watching uh, this video bye bye